Hello everybody, it's Andy and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a tutorial on how to make this pretty sling bag phone holder or card holder, whatever you want to call it. I put a, a pocket in the front just to put your cards or your cash, coins, whatever. And here is for your phones, your gadgets and all of that. And also you can put your mask in there. Right, so let me just show you real quick the other things that I've made. This is in cotton canvas and here is 100% linen. I used a metal snap with this one. Okay, and again another way to make this is with velcro. So I just glued, I used a, a stick glue and a glue gun and then Glued that. If you have a velcro that's not sticky, you can sew it on the vel uh, on the fabric, which is I think better than gluing it. Yeah. So I used I've already tried using rayon fabric, linen, cotton canvas, and this this type of material, which is a bit stretchy and very thick, and it's from a dress. So this is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make it from a thrifted outfit. So yeah, and we're gonna learn how to put a magnetic snap. But if you don't have magnetic snap at home, you can use Velcro or whatever you can use um, that you have. If you have a button and a, you can put a loop, you can do that. Uh, all right, this is very beginner friendly. We have a part pattern in the link description below. Uh, you can go ahead and get that one and then just follow the tutorial. I would recommend to to watch this tutorial, the whole tutorial first before going ahead and you know cutting out your fabric or cutting out your pattern pieces. Um, also, you know the pattern just makes your life easier in drafting um, you know the bag. If you have the pattern, you can just go ahead and cut it. Okay, so, Let's get started. Okay, so again, I'm gonna use this material for all my main um, pieces. And just for my lining, since we only need two lining with this particular pattern, I'm gonna use this um, cotton quilt material. Okay, so let's start cutting. Here are the pattern pieces. You should have five pieces of um, cutout patterns and also labels. So I've just included this to just make it more organized. So when you've got your two main and your two lining, you would then attach these to your, you just, you know, it kind of just organizes your um, pieces. Because I'm using this stretchy material, I don't want it stretching when I'm sewing it. So I'm going to then now fuse a non-woven interfacing. So the sticky back on the wrong side. Just gently just press a few seconds. And then it should stop a bit from stretching so that's one then do on the next one i've already cut the same size of my body because this fabric is thicker than I, I want it, um, I wouldn't um, fuse any more stabilizing here. I don't think it needs anything. 
this is pretty pretty sturdy for me so I definitely go with this now without any more interfacing okay now we have our two main piece so I fused a non-woven interfacing and then just my it's a bit it's a bit thick which is nice that's why I'm not fusing any more fusible interfacing here because I think this is enough enough um, thickness here you can see I've cut the strap and again I fused it with the non-woven interfacing just to avoid it stretching too much and just the right thick thickness um, here it says to cut on the fold and then that's the fold right there and then you cut this bit you can see I made it a bit longer because this pattern is just the right size for myself so if you're making it for yourself and you know we're all different we're you know i'm only five two and you might want it even if you're five two um you might want it um a bit you know short or, or longer so always make sure you test it with your body because this strap you're gonna then connect them and stitch them together and then it's going to be a one long piece so so try it on your body if um you think it's the right size for you making you know taking note that you're still going to have seam allowance right over here at least um three eighths of an inch uh yeah this i'm making for some someone a bit taller than me so i think that gap is enough and that's double um, let me know if you have any questions down below or you can actually join our Facebook group it's called the makers I'm always there I'm always available here are all our pattern pieces so I have my main two piece and my main lining um, I have my straps two straps folded I have this Number three is my pocket and number five is our flap. Now, you might be wondering where is number two. The number two is a fusible fleece. So you don't really, um, you don't have any fabric uh, cut for this one. Make sure it's just fusible fleece and it's already fused on your first two main panels. All right, I hope that's clear. Okay um now we're gonna the first thing we're gonna do is to fold our straps and then after that we would then put our magnetic snaps if you are gonna be using magnetic snaps if you don't you can just skip ahead before we go and iron these straps we will need to connect the two um, straps together so we do that by putting them right sides together and then sew half an inch across so just that let me do that there I've sewn half an inch allowance and then you can just open that up and then now start pressing so how we do it is from the wrong side you fold it half and then you iron it because this fabric won't really stay together if I do this, I would just go ahead and quickly eyeball the halves and then do that. But for example, you're using a cotton quilt that's very good. For example, this is a cotton quilt. This would properly stay together. So if I do that, and again, if you're using... Um, this cotton quilt fabric you don't need to interface it there's no need for any interfacing I just did mine because it's stretchy so you do that and then you then fold it like that and then what we're gonna do is sew both sides just a straight long straight lines up until the end and then go on another one so try and go as close as possible to the edge so right there 
and go straight and then just very close to the edge and go straight all the way down. So let's just do that. If you have a fabric like this that is a bit stubborn and won't stay together, you can then go ahead and pin or you can even clip. So just clip on each and do that. So go all the way down. And then, as I said, we're going to sew both sides. I'm going to change my stitch, stitch length to 3 millimeters. Okay. Go ahead. So go all the way down. Go a bit slow on the bulk. Now we've done one side, we go on to the next side. Here we've done our strap. Isn't that easy? If you have a cotton quilt or cotton canvas, it's so much easier to do it. Mine, I, it's a bit more tricky because I'm using a stretchy material and it's not always recommended on bag making, but you know what? Why not? I'm exploring all the different kinds of fabric to use with um, bag making. Okay, now let's grab our pocket piece and only one piece. The second one, just put that aside for now. Now grab your pattern piece and you'll find a marking, X mark, okay? What I usually do is I grab my seam ripper or anything you can, you know, you can poke a hole in the middle of that um, X mark. So then what I do is grab my pen or anything. Um, this is only the process of making the um, snaps. So what I do is mark. Not sure if I can see this black on black. Yeah, definitely not going to see that. But I'm going to do it on the back. So there you go. So it's there. Now... Here, I need to mark it so you can just fold it a bit and then make a mark. There, I'm definitely, as long as you can see it yourself, it's fine. So I'm pretty sure I can see that. I'm just gonna point there. <laughs> now, next, we need to grab our um, interfacing. I usually use um, fusible fleece for this kind of project. So I'm going to iron this on here just to give it more um, structure and, you know, more thickness. So our magnetic snap won't just, you know, uh, fall apart or go through the other fabric. So let's grab our magnetic snap okay, here. So make sure you're getting the the right correct pair because I've done this I've done it on one side here and again on the flap I did it on here and you know that's not a good experience but we learn every day so I'm gonna iron that but how you iron a fusible fleece is you don't iron it directly on this material you Flip, flip it and then iron on the front, on the fabric side. Okay, but your sticky back is facing the back side of your fabric. So let me just do that real quick. Okay, that's done. That, that's not going anywhere. Right, so what I'm going to do is now make a hole. Let me just grab this. 
So I have this embroidery scissors. So that's my mark line. So a millimeter away from that, I'm gonna make a hole on each, oops, on each side. And then, so the line is still gonna be in the middle. So that's when on your pocket piece, you're gonna put this one with a, like the male, the, the thicker part of the snap. That's the snap together. So I'm gonna use this bigger one, thicker one. I call it the male. I'm not sure <laughs> officially what it's called, but I'll call this the male and this is the female. <laughs> okay, so let me just do that and find my hole. Where did I put my hole? And then gently just push it. Yeah. There you go. And then grab the this this one, the washer, and just place that in, in there. And then gently just push those. Okay. So that's not going anywhere and that's properly attached. And you can see it's not gonna go anywhere. Right, next. We grab our number five, our flap. You can always refer back to your pattern piece because they might look all the same. So you can just refer that. Also, you can play around with your fabric here. You know, you can be very creative with your fabric combinations. For me, I'm just gonna go all one, um, one type of lining and then just one main fabric. Just easier for myself. Okay, but it might be a lot easier if you have a different pocket piece, like a different color, and might be a bit different. Okay, so let's grab our flap pattern piece. And again, you'll see an X mark there. What you're gonna do is either use a pen to like poke it, or, you know, Seam Reaper. You can use anything just to make a hole. And now I'm gonna Put that on the front. This is okay if I'm using pen. I know it's not gonna go away, but it's gonna be over this metal and no one's gonna see that ever. So let me try and make a mark here. Yeah, it definitely isn't making a mark, but so what I'm gonna do is kind of fold it and see where it's going. So there, just about right. And then Gonna mark that on the back. Okay, and then again, grab my um, fusible fleece. Just cut a bit of that. Use, when you're cutting, you know, your non-fabric ones, use a non-fabric scissors. It's very important. So I'm just gonna go ahead and iron this from the fabric side. All right, that's not going anywhere. Okay, same as the first one. I'm gonna now use my scissors and poke it. So you, you can't see it, but I know where it is. So I'm gonna go millimeter away from it. And then on the other side too. It's like kind of eyeball where it's going. If you're um, using snap, a plastic snap or um, or a metal snap it's so much easier because you can do that after you don't have to do it now you can do that after um, you finish the whole project okay this is a bit difficult to there you go there you go and then grab your washer Press that out. There. Okay, again, that's not going anywhere. Right, so, so we've done the pocket piece. So what that's, what's gonna happen with that is it's gonna match that one. And you can kind of see, but we're very close to the end now. So maybe that's gonna be the trickiest part. But if you're not using the magnetic one, 
It's going to be super easy. Okay, grab your main piece. Okay, that's your number one. And then grab the pocket piece with the, the magnetic snap and the other one. So like this two, right? Put them right side together. So just right sides together. And then sew quarter of an inch away from the edge. Just a straight line to pocket piece. Okay. One with the magnetic snap and the one without. You just sew a straight line and we're going to turn it to that side later. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, you can see I did I did it and now I'm going to move that piece on the back and then make sure to line it up properly. And then now to just stitch it in place, we will sew a straight line the edge. Let me just do that. There you go. So there's a whole straight line there. That's the back. Okay, I think you know what's going to happen now. So your main piece, just one piece, you now put your pocket piece on top of the right side of your fabric. And now if you have a logo or a label or your tag, whatever you might want to call it, go ahead and attach it now. So for me, I want to attach this maybe here would be nice. So I'm just going to do that real quick first before we attach our pocket piece to the body. Okay, I think that would be the perfect place for it. Just a second. There. So if you have a logo like that, if you don't, you can just go ahead and line them up properly and then pin them together or clip it or just clip. Now, grab your other piece, okay? And then put that on the wrong side. I'm sorry, on the right side. So right sides together, so there. And then just clip them the three all together or you can pin it I like to pin from the middle to out like that so just so it doesn't shift yeah so I think now we're gonna go to our sewing machine and then stitch a half an inch away from your edge so half an inch all the way down and then around and then up to the end so make sure to back stitch on here and then back stitch at the end here let's go do that so again half an inch back stitch and go down and I also like to backstitch on the bulky area here where the pocket meets. And then just go slowly on the curve, just slowly go there and then just move the fabric. If needed, you can lift. So we have it. Now what we're going to do is cut the corners. Just clip corners. Just so it um, stays nicely on the outside later on. 
just making sure you don't clip your stitches I just clip a few and that's good and now you turn it inside out with your magnetic side under a magnetic snap on the right side so like that here you go we're almost there so you can kind of see now how your bag is looking so that's for me right so now let's attach the flap but before we do that you grab your flap pieces and then right sides together you're gonna sew half an inch allowance all the way around like that and making sure to backstitch beginning and the end so let's do that um you can pin it um just to make sure it doesn't move you know anywhere okay all right half an inch allowance backstitch Very careful on the corner. You want to keep the shape. You can go really slow. There you have it. So we're going to clip the corners again. Okay, so I've clipped my corners. So, turn it inside out. It's got a nice shape now. So that's what goes in here. And then goes like that. So, just right. Okay, so you can see how it's ending now. We're very, very close to the end. Now we just want to make sure that this stays together. So we're going to stitch that um, quarter of an inch all the way around that two layer. Okay, so here I've stitched it. You can see. Right. And this is ready now to attach on our main piece now on the back of your bag so here this facing up on like facing you the magnetic snap you now make sure that this piece is centered with the main body so just like that so i'm gonna pin this so it doesn't go anywhere this is very important to pin. Because this will then go on the front and then do that. Does that make sense? Okay, now only the back of the main fabric with the flap. So just one, two, three layers together. Avoid the front. So only three, stitch a fourth or a quarter of an inch from the edge. Let's do that. So here, I like to lift this first layer and then shift it a bit. So like that. Back stitch again. Beginning and end, always back stitch. Make sure you lock those stitches okay there you go and you can take that out now you can see just like that right now we just need the strap and the lining okay now grab your lining I'm sorry your strap and then the center of your strap should be in the right center of the seam so you so you do that so here's your flap 
there's your pocket so it should be on the side seam and has to be centered so let's pin that so it again doesn't go anywhere and then make sure it's not twisted or anything find the end of your strap and then attach on the other side there you go so now we're gonna just stitch that in place so this and the other one stitch in place Make sure you back stitch just to make it extra strong. Avoiding to hit your pin. Okay. Now those are not going anywhere, so can see okay now on the last piece your lining so your main lining you just sew it on the right sides together okay and then just sew from here and then up to probably every just make sure you leave an opening for turning inside out so whichever you want you could do an opening right here you could do an opening right here or you could do a rope opening right here I always prefer to do an opening on the side so I'll do a mark it so don't forget you can do the same so you like mark it so you go ahead and sew all the way over there back stitch and then again start from here back stitch go all the way around now to avoid baggy um, lining I would suggest to do a tiny tiny bit bigger seam allowance so if you did on the main panel you did half an inch you do a bit bigger so say just a millimeter added to that half an inch all the way around okay let's do that so back stitch now starting on this side go slow So you can see I've left an opening over here and I suggest you just make a crease open the seam so you open the seam and then just crease a bit or you can iron this I just crease it just easier when you're turning it inside out then when you close it it's just you know it just lays flat together okay now we leave that there now this is another tricky bit just because of the bulk not for anything so what you're gonna do is I would suggest you roll that just kind of like tuck it in the pocket just tuck it in there tuck it there so now your handle is a bit is you know far from okay so just so make sure your handles are not twisted on the sides now what you're gonna do is this is the right side and then your lining is still in the like the wrong side so what you're gonna do is you now 
gently put all of this inside. So push it in gently. Okay, now you find the seam of your front panel. So again, this might be tricky because of just the bulk, but nothing hard on this one. So find the seam of your main panel, mine is here. So I'm gonna match my seams, open that seam, and then match it with that. And then you just grab a clip or a pin. You can use anything. I'd rather use clips here because it's very bulky. And then here, just again, match your seam. Clip it and now match it all the way around making sure you grab everything okay Just nice and there okay In the area, like at the back, uh, I mean the front that's not very bulky, you can pin it. And that's where I'm going to start, the front. Okay, this is again a bit tricky, but you'll, you can do it. So just sew that all the way around. Go slow on the ball. Oops. That pin is gone forever. You know when you drop a pin, it's gone. It's forever gone. Okay, just be slow, steady and Make sure. Almost at the And just back stitch where you meet your stitches. Now, the opening, you grab your main gently. Mine is very bulky, again, because I used clothing. And a very bulky clothing, but beautiful print. That's why I want to use it. Just beautiful print. Okay, here we go. All right. Now, what we do here is to close that seam. This is why we creased it in the first place, so it stays together. So now I stitch very, very close from the edge, just a straight line. I do that. There you go, and now you just Push that inside. You're ninety eight percent done. You must be thinking, what's the two percent? I'll tell you in a second. Hey, looking beautiful. Hey, look at that. You're practically done. You know what? You can go on and, you know, with your day and you're done. But the 2% is just to finish, just to finish it. So this 
opening right here I just want to do a top stitch to make it look nice and professional so just do a top stitch all the way around so how I do that is I try and push the lining in the back and then maybe a quarter of an inch allowance I go and then again Make sure you're not stitching on your very long handle on the bulk very very carefully this gives this um, handle a bit more strength I'm just gonna tidy it up a little bit Small job, small scissors for small job. Don't forget that. Because if you use big scissors, just cutting these, you might end up cutting your, your fabric. You don't want to do that. Okay, there. I think that's done. And you just nicely push out the corners. There you go. Isn't that so cool? That's so pretty. <sighs> My print goes, you know, from this that side or this side. If you have a very directional print, you can see it should just be on to this. Um, it has to be matching the, you know, the letters, the demand, the direction of the letters in that so make sure just get that okay so there you have it guys we did it and i hope that the instruction is clear and you're you learned something new today also again the pattern is available in the link down below and you can make hundreds and a lot of this I've made a lot of these already and I'm selling them at the at the markets here and online so you can do it too I'm I'm sure it just needs a bit more practice if it's your first time making a bag it just needs a bit more practice everyone started with you know as a beginner everyone did and you know what you can do it so thank you so much for staying with me today and if you like this video, please click the like below and also subscribe if you haven't yet. And yeah, be kind to everyone and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye, see you next time.